Pathpilot quick tips. Now that we have a thousand tool entries capable, uh, you may want to use some space in the middle. You may have a lot of tools you want to enter. Uh, maybe you want to enter tools that you don't even have purchased yet, but you hold spot numbers for them. Um, entering them all by hand here while you're standing at the mill, um, you may not be the most comfortable environment. Uh, we have the capability to import and export the entire tool table to a convenient comma delimited format that's a text file that you can take and use uh, edit with Excel or other popular spreadsheet programs. So if I'm on the offsets tab, I just click export and a file save dialog comes up. I can go to the USB stick that I have plugged in there and it suggests a mill tool table. I save that file. Now I'm going to go to the laptop that I have Microsoft Excel on and pull open that and make some edits. So now that I've got the file loaded up in Excel, what I really want to do is add a whole series of metric drill sizes because it's just far easier to edit here in my nice comfy chair uh, with a cup of coffee. So here you can see I've got all the drills in and I'm going to save them off to the same CSV file and then take them back to the mill. Now that I've made the edits on the laptop, I can come back to the machine and actually hit import. And I select that same CSV file that I just edited and load it up. Warning though, it's going to take the entire tool table from the CSV and overwrite your tool table. It doesn't try to do any merging. So you have one definitive tool table that you either import or export. It's another good way to back up your tool table too, or move it between multiple machines. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel here or watch more videos here.